Hi everybody, yes, sir, Coach Valerio, the owner of Malta Sales School. Today we are with Carlo. Yo. And this is the second episode of Malta Sales School podcast. Woo! <laughs> nice guys, I'm glad to be here. All right, so All right. thank you to be here, Carlo. Hi. That's a, uh, it's a friend that uh, I met here in Malta, Carlo. Carlo, tell us, where are you from? I'm from Italy, actually from Milano. Mm-hmm. And yeah, um, I'm really enjoying to, to surfing in Malta. Because where I come from, there is no sea, so I need to drive two hours for the first spot. So Malta is pretty fine. So tell me, how come a guy from Milano get passionate for surfing? Ah, <laughs> this is a long story, but I think since the beginning, I was always passionate about water. Right. Uh, I grew up uh, doing uh, kayak, canoeing, yeah. and actually I was in the Italian national team for three years and yeah that was uh, on the flat water like close to Milano there is this artificial lake it's called the Hidroscalo yeah and I grew up over there uh, doing a kayak, kayak every day for uh, all day long for every week so you used to do competition too yeah yeah I was, us- I was usually to compete uh, for uh, Italy like a uh, Italian championship and for two years I was in uh, Italian national team Right. So I compete abroad in France and uh, for a World Cup in uh, in Singapore as well, in Rome. Yeah, I remember you told me something about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But then, what was the change that take you from the kayak to the surfboard? Ah, uh, man, the, the fun that you enjoy on the, on the, on the surfboard. Uh, after my experience of kayak, I went to, to Australia for a year. Mm-hmm. And that was the, like the best place to to keep in contact with the surf so uh, i was living for uh, one month and a half in bondi beach and oh, I was there it bondi. Was, was perfect for and there i bought my first uh, surfboard uh, in sydney uh, at bondi beach but at the moment was just like paddling out achieving the lineup and yes <laughs> mesh no yeah i was just staying there and see the other people doing surf. Okay. And enjoy the vibes. Enjoy the vibes, yes. The only one way that I got, uh, I got to use teach on my head because the, the surf bots <laughs> hit me really, really strong. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you remember your first surfboard? Yeah, it was really small, like it, it was the the best surfboard to to begin, like, let's say that. All right. Because yeah. I was focused more on shoreboard, and stuff like that. But so now I see you surfing. You're quite yeah. experienced surfer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you surf good. No, because uh, I see you. I like your cut back. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> and uh, now, for example, no, because this one we want to always give also advice to the new surfer. So I see a lot of students as well that start to do their first steps. You know, then a couple of months, and they want to get a better board. I always recommend them a Malibu after the soft top. But I see everybody that want to rush and they want to go to the shoreboard. What, what will be for you an advice for this new surfer or inter, not intermediate, it's upper beginner, they get excited. Yeah, should, I know what you mean. Should uh, wait a bit or and no, stick? I suggest to, to wait a bit yeah. for sure. That's very important, guys. I must say you want to make a pass through. Better to wait a bit with a tiny bit longer board. Not too long, but you know, just a seven yeah, also two, because six, if eight. you understand how to manage a longer board with a short board it will be much easier everything. So if you jump from a long board to a short board too early, you're gonna lost a few things that is gonna be essential for understanding how to surf. So yeah, so just to, to wait a bit. I mean, as you say, the Mini Malibu was my second board actually. When I came back from, from Australia and I started to surf in Italy, I bought uh, my first surfboard in Italy. It was a Mini Malibu from uh, Eurograss. All right. Yeah, it was- So in France you bought it? Yeah, yeah, directly okay. from, the, from the facility. It was nice, yeah, yeah. So you surf also in France? Yeah, in Osegor, in Biarritz. Beautiful town for surfing, west yeah. coast, northwest coast of the France. Yeah, it depends if you get the the way. Like, if you stay there, you know, if you stay for just one week, and there is no swell. Uh, yeah, 
you get a bit of mad because yeah, they are just for surfing. Uh, there is no anything more. Like I mean, you can go out in the night, but it's not the place to go out in the night. So it's better for going surfing. Exactly, exactly. I've been in that, and for me, um, Biarritz also was one of the best self prepared. Ever. Really? Yes, yes. I went with two Maltese friends, the old uh, generation, okay. and. and a very a very good uh, trip and I think so I still even to my wife is the best trip I've ever had so far. Nice. In case of fun and waves and that we were during the competition. The Pro France? Yes. I've been the there too. So Which one was it? Uh, I think so if I'm not going wrong was uh, I think so the last time they did uh, 2016 or 18 now maybe I'm wrong. I, uh, I no, should have a t-shirt. Uh, 2018 uh, or 19 it was. I think so more than but I think maybe it was there too. And it was so much fun. <laughs> I have a funny story. We went in a restaurant having his nail. You know, you want to go there yeah. and try the nail. And with me at the time, there was my coach, uh, South African coach. And because we went with a camp, all organized. And then we was in the restaurant, we was laughing. There was uh, a Maltese friend, Mark Mancini, local surfer. And I was joking with him and I told him something. Oh. <laughs> You, you, you stupid, bold person, or something like this. I don't know, this stupid joke. And he told me, tell to these people behind you that that is a stupid, bold person. I turn around, Kelly Slater, just no, getting inside no of this shop. And I get excited. <laughs> I was talking him in the restaurant. <laughs> that's, that's Mark for sure remember this story. Anyway, I want to... <laughs> no, it's not story. Funny story. I want, to, I want to ask you, did you ever had a proper self lesson? In Italy, or you went surfing with a friends that had a bit more experience of you and was telling you, Come with me, I'll show you this spot. Uh, we go surfing yeah, together. Yeah, actually, yeah, I started, it began like this like uh, a friend of mine tell me, Come with me, I can show you some spot around Italy. Yeah, and I start surf uh, like uh, alone with no, no coach, with no okay. one. And, and after, yes, I got because. In Mil I come from Milano, but there is no sea. But even if there is no sea, we have the I think the biggest community of uh, of Italy, because Milano is the biggest city for for business. So all the people around Italy come there, and we have a lot of surfers that come for work. And so during the week, the people uh, can go for work, for surfing uh, to Liguria, Varazze, Levanto. Uh, those are all spot excellent the, the, to, the, to our followers are all spot on the coast on the co on the north coast on the west north, side north west side yeah between liguria yeah liguria is the um, is the region is the region what uh, everybody knows the cinque terre exactly <laughs> so uh, levanto is before it's just the, the the town before cinque terre exactly and you got a really good swell Pretty solid waves. Exactly. And yeah. like since one month is battling uh, one day yes and one day no. So yeah. good spot, good, good spot. spot. So you start over there? Uh, yeah, I start to over there in the winter time. Uh, uh, it was really cold, <laughs> actually. Uh, but I was saying like in Milan we have this community is growing, I think now, I mean, for one year or two years since the COVID, I think. And we have the surface community that maybe we have this this uh, brand is called the Fit Surf. Fit Surf. Yeah, they used to training uh, all together, uh, focus on 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 surf uh, surf uh, movement and surf stuff. Okay. So I didn't get any surf coach lesson, but I was going to this uh, this lesson. So it was like uh, conditioning outside of the water. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. It's very important. And there I keep in touch with the with the with the first coach. It was Dario Nuzzi, uh, Italian coach from Milano. And after that, uh, as I told you before, uh, I become like not local, but I was going really often to to Levanto. Yeah. So I grew up there. Very good way. And I meet uh, Gabo, that is the owner of the Rip Curl uh, the shop. shop. And uh, yeah, I grew up a lot of that, with that community because it was really open. It was really it was good good vibes to to grow up, even in the water, and it was nice. 
So this one in Milano. And here in Malta, how's the community? How you find me? Um, how you find Malta Surf School? Because like this, we start to get in touch, I think, so no? And I would like to, if you say to, to everybody that watching us, uh, how is the vibes here in Malta? What is the surf like here in Malta? And uh, yeah, if you want to start. Uh, um, as I open the, the podcast, I'm really glad to, to be in Malta. <laughs> because after the COVID, uh, actually the, the community, the situation in Italy changed a lot because the, I think no one was able to go abroad in Indonesia or, and so the spot re get really, really crowded. The people start to get really mad at the situation and the vibes get really worse in Italy. So for me, after COVID, it was one year of a break. And okay. when I came here in Malta, I rebegin from, from zero. So I remember the first time I saw you was the summer. So I remember you was like managing the the sap lesson or <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> and I didn't know like it was good good surf. Uh, I spoke with you. You tell me yeah yeah come in the winter. You will see. You will see. And even in that summer we got not like this summer. The summer before was less well. Less well. Uh, yeah, less, less well in the in the summer. But we got a few waves. And from there, from the from the autumn, from the winter. And I start to to get really passionate with the surf because the community here was really it, it was growing I think it was really yeah. good and the vibes was really good uh, I mean I really enjoy the, the the surfer community here in Malta even the times I spent with you it, it grow me a lot like even today we spent a few minutes uh, looking the video uh, teaching me how to do a cutback or a button turn so Thank I'm really glad you. and thank you, uh, thank, you God, well, thank you and yeah I think the community here in Malta is good and need to be to grow a lot yeah, that, that's we're working on it no yeah yeah me too um, if you want to share something because I know, I know together we spend some good time we score really good waves on the south and because there are some good spot where I take Carlo as he, there are some spot here in Malta that you know is not it's not possible to take everybody because they are very advanced. Even the access of some spot uh, are very advanced. But uh, do you have, because I have this beautiful memory together. I don't want to see if maybe it's ma match. Ah, maybe I remember yeah? when we were... Without seeing the spot because no, no, <laughs> you don't want to get in trouble with the, the old like, chef. Uh, <laughs> I think it was that time uh, that we were in the park close to the car, waiting and struggle uh, ourselves, like uh, we need to go inside or not, because <laughs> all around us was thunderstorm, lightning exactly. and storm everywhere was really, really bad, the situation. Crazy. Like, the crowd was really black, black, black. And the end, uh, we enjoyed the best, the best surf, uh, I think it was half an hour. It was yeah, yeah. Not but too much. It was beautiful offshore was the condition <laughs> were perfect like that spot was fine just on top of us was beautiful and sunny yeah it was and sunny. Then just around we had like a... we got the fucking donuts on our head with the clear weather and all around was black and thunder and thunder yes all around just yeah, just before hour. sunset yeah, yeah, sunset the... it was winter so sunset was early like five o'clock yeah carlo we should go yeah <laughs> Three waves each, five waves each, but, but nice. It was nice, yeah. It was fun, eh? Yeah, I think it was one of the best day in that winter, yeah. Yeah, we had so much fun. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, bro. So, that's uh, that's good memories as well. And in such a short time, Malta allow you to have so much fun because there is so much international uh, people that are coming from everywhere. And of course, uh, we are Italian, we speak Italian as well together, we make a stupid joke, <laughs> you know, and then uh, we might have some friends in common. But uh, Malta gave you this opportunity as well to, to bound with ma many people. And I, I really have fun here. That's why also one of, um, of the motivation that, that, that I decided to stay here. Right. To, don't, to don't live, for example, like when I was young in Canary Island or in Italy or in Australia. That, we both love. Now, uh, we have this beautiful memory. Uh, I would like to ask you if you have three words to describe 
de Malta School Environmental, let's say the Malta Sales Community, because now it's not just small uh, Malta Sales School, now we have a, a beautiful growing community, we have an association over here, you know, more people coming, also more younger people, more girls, because during this year yeah, it was yeah. just boy, now more girls as well is coming, you know? Three words? Three words. To describe, okay, okay, let me think about it. I think one, uh, as you said before, uh, can be like growing because I see a lot of changing and growing. The, as you said before, it was like last year was just male and maybe now it's coming a lot of girls. And so one for sure is growing. Uh, the other one can be passionate. Because really? I think all the people that I'm meeting are really passionate about surf. Yeah. And for sure. And the third one, uh, the third one uh, also, I don't know if it's the right words in English, but maybe it can be competition. Because at the same time, uh, I can see, I can feel that there is a competition in the water sometimes. And I was just correct that should be in the, in the sport, but yeah, uh, I grew up with the, with that mentality because like every training work for me was like competing yeah. and because it, it was for a job more or less. I was young, but it was really focused on it with kayak. And yeah, that's, I think there are the three words for describe the, the community. Very good, very good, very good. And now that we talk about competition, you know, uh, I have many favorite surfers. What is your favorite surfer? Ah, uh, that competing so, on the so WSL. Wow, for style, I, I love surfer for style like Mike February. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think Mike February or Jamie O'Brien, but more for the style on the, like Jamie O'Brien for the for mentality how you get fun with the yeah, surf and yeah. stuff like that. I like it too. Uh, no, on the WSL, uh, let's say maybe. Fioravanti, just to, because I'm Italian. Of course, and, Leo, and, grande Leo, if you watch us, you. <laughs> and that's for sure. But um, I'm keeping uh, focus on, I'm keeping with the eye on, on the new generation, and there are new, new good guys in Italian. So, yeah. And about, I don't know, others, let's say about style, make, make February for sure, is my, yeah. my favorite. All right. What about yours? Mine, Dime Reynolds. Ah, okay. Reynolds is, I always like it a lot, a lot. And then, I don't know if you remember him, but me, I started surfing very young and there was Cory Lopez. Ah, Cory Lopez, yeah, yeah. That, it's strange because me, I'm a regular surfer, Cory Lopez is goofy. Goofy. So, but and that I, period was completely different, the, yeah. the, the surfing of backside and front side. Yeah, then I have this beautiful memory that I was super young and I get uh, into a surf shop on a place where I was living in summer. There was this surf shop and my sister, I don't know, get her eyes on this magazine. Mm -hmm. At the time there was no fear also for surfing this brand. And on the first page there was <laughs> this big sticker that then she still has on the car of the no fear <laughs> and the face of Cory Lopez. Ah, and then inside there was all the story and uh, okay. I still have this magazine. I keep it like... Uh, <laughs> also, Robbie Machado. Robbie I love, yeah. I love Robbie good vibes. Machado. Good vibes. Uh, the they surf is nice. Yeah. 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 It, it's good to have the good vibes into the water. And I yeah, love it. yeah. That's why for me, like, I love what you do. Like, you do for works, but for me, it can never be like works. Like, I love to to okay. have my compete yeah but the surf for me is like an escape like okay if i need to shut down my brain i need to get off from work or from my life i just need to have waves and my boards and i can go and uh, really enjoy about surf so i don't want to mix work with mm -hmm. the surf I because i really enjoy to get off with the surf because yeah. the vibes on the waves are amazing like the feeling uh, is great uh, I understand this, understand this a lot, because I see at the end of the day, we are all workers, no? <laughs> and then uh, out of the day of work might be your stress relief, 
uh, release uh, when you go in surfing. And for me, I, I'm balanced. I, I learned to balance here in Malta. Because in Australia, when I was in Australia, for me, it was different, you know. You have perfect okay. ways on the back, and you're teaching. Uh, <laughs> and you say, oh my God, look at this, that. And you have there with the beginning. But here I learned that I can I can be more balanced. In Australia, for example, I didn't have the balance. I just want to surf, surf, surf. Maybe you were also younger. Yes, I was younger. <laughs> yes, um, but the spark <laughs> is always there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the will. spark is always there. You will compete for the, for the rampage? Yes, yes. I, actually, guys, what Carlo just say, um, in Malta, in the past, we had different competition that I organize, but at the moment I want to relax a bit more. There is a cool movement that is starting, <laughs> or I'm not old, but the younger generation want to offer more to the, to the community. So there are these friends that are organizing and they're going to be soon. Uh, now we are on the wedding period. Actually, they start today. Nice. They launch today the wedding period. Can't wait to compete and to go and to enjoy as a, not the organizer, the guys that are coming there. And I uh, can't wait, man. Nice. Can't wait. Because it, it's fun. I can see that everybody improving. Actually, there was a... Uh, Adriana was asking me, hey bro, what do you think is going to win the competition this oh, year? Yeah. Yes, 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 there is Kai that is improving a lot. Do you know how many participants we have? Uh, at the moment, no. I, yeah. I know a few things because they are still bubbling the last... Ah, okay, okay. Uh, the last... Uh, the range, like 20, 40... I think so, we're going to be around 20 people. 20 people. Okay. 20 people from everywhere, from all nice, Europe. Nice. There are last competition, people. last two, yeah, the one... One Chago, Chago and one, Chago. one before Fernando, so two Brazilian. So this year, I see a lot of Italian yeah. that want to reach the, the the higher step of the podium. But yes, I might be one of those. <laughs> but always for having fun. Eh? It's a fun day here in Malta, and I can't wait. Really, I'm yeah, super man. excited. Hope so guys, good waves. yeah, well, I really, I really invite you to come surfing here with us. Hi Carlo. Yeah, yeah, enjoy with us. And if you have any any question, send us uh, on the comment. I'm su I will be super happy to reply to all of your questions. Now you guys know also Carlo, so if you come in surfing in Malta and so you see him in the water, go to say hi. Because here yeah, in the water we are all uh, a big family. A big. Yeah, yeah, For what, what is the big, the community in Malta compared to that one in Italy? Because in Italy... It's it, much bigger. It's but. much bigger and for sure, maybe if you guys watching from Australia, California or so ever, <laughs> it's going to be bigger. So we'll see you in Malta. Thank you, Carlo, for Thank today. You, Thank you. Big shout out to all of you guys. Woo! See you, see you in the water. And at the next episode. Woo! Ciao, ciao. <laughs>